Uh, so we got the engine out, we got it cleaned out pretty good. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna repair this engine bay for paint. orange paint with the clear coat and everything on it it's not a very sticky surface to paint on so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a wire brush normally a scuff pad would work better for this but I can't find mine so yeah just take a wire brush or scuff pad whatever you have and mainly just get all the area where you're gonna be painting just so that the paint has a stickier area to attach to It might be good just to leave it orange too. As he shakes the can of black paint. <laughs> I don't know. I'm, this is it might thing. be good to leave it orange. Or should we do the inside of the hood first? Do the inside of the hood. Yeah. Frog! Frog? Frog. Where? Frog. Oh yeah, dude. Oh, I drop it. Toad! We got a friend. <laughs> Toad! <laughs> Toad. Got to clean it. <laughs> That's awesome. I wish I could show the camera, but it is the camera. I'll take a picture. Maybe I can... I'll work it. Alright, here we go. We got some hammered black. I've never used this before, so this will be fun. Are we supposed to apply it with a hammer? Yes, but I forgot it. Damn it! Can't do that. Yeah, just for we're not professionals. We have no idea what we're doing. Miata! <laughs> Miata! Who doesn't do that hammer test today? I suppose you might need to do a lot more. So I'm undecided whether or not I want to paint the whole engine bay. So we're just going to do the radiator sport because it's still kind of separate from the whole engine bay. And it's already half black from the inside. We're just going to try it right in the top right now. Okay. Yeah, we're going to need like probably... All of it is, it's just hide. I think it, it looks like it's been replaced. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, <laughs> we got a lot of... <laughs> It might just be best to... <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Alright. Alright, I think that's good enough. Left handed painting's hard. What did you say? Left handed painting's hard when you're a righty. Yeah, it is. I'm ready to do it on though. It's about to rain, so we're just gonna waste the rest of this can. So, Taco Bell! Taco Bell? <laughs> Time oh. for some shit! <laughs> um, <laughs> Alright, well, I think that's good for the engine bay painting. I don't see, I mean, it's a little bit of stuff under the bolt and stuff, but I'm not going to worry about every little bit because it's going to be hidden with a lot of like the stuff bolted back in, but there's the turnout, guys. Not bad. So there we go, we finished the engine painting of the 240Z Zombie engine bay. Uh, it was a pretty easy paint job, it only cost 15 bucks with $5 a can. It's a little more expensive paint, you can get you know, two dollar ones at Walmart, but uh, this is a little bit better quality paint and it's a textured paint so it's going to kind of give a cool look to it. It was a pretty easy uh, pretty easy job. Uh, there's a few things that came to a surprise. It was just taking off a few items just to make it easier to paint. But other than that, it was a really simple, just kind of a do-it-yourself thing. It's not professional by any means, but it's better than it was. If you guys have any suggestions what we should do with this build, let me know. And thank you for watching. What? Best way to paint is a rattle can. Now all the 
Honda Post, so I was get this hour more efficiently. Oh god. Kill him! Kill him and kill him.